Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amato. Today is the 13th of April. And this time I have some news for you regarding Grand Theft Auto V on the PC, as Rockstar have actually spoken about the PC developments. Of course, the game is out tomorrow, at least here in the UK anyway. And it has been a rather long wait, 18 months to be exact. However, that doesn't mean it was an afterthought. And there's a lot of suggestions that, well, this might actually be the best GTA PC version yet, with loads of extra features, 4K support, and a bunch of other shiny stuff. And according to what Rockstar have said, they actually started the development of the PC version alongside the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions. Now, this comes from a recent interview with the Director of Technology over at Rockstar North, Phil Hooker, as well as Director of Engineering, Klaus Schilstra, and Technical Director, Adam Fowler. And Rockstar said, quote, We were always going to bring GTA 5 to PC. We planned from day one for a PC build, and we made technical decisions based off the fact we would be doing a PC version of the game. While we started development of the PC version quite early, we decided to focus the bulk of our attention on the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions first, in order to push that as far as we possibly could before turning our attention to the PS4 and Xbox One versions. And then, using the shared architecture underpinning the new consoles to help ourselves ramp up into the PC version and push the game as far as we possibly could, knowing we'd have the, we would have the opportunity to make the game look and feel better than it ever has. And as well as this, we also have a rather interesting comment from the Rockstar Toronto president, Kevin Hora, who basically said that they've changed quite a bit how they actually develop PC games over the years, whereas they used to port console builds to the PC. Instead, now they are keeping PC in mind when developing every version. And it had the rather nice side effect of Rockstar having an easier time when they were developing the new-gen versions. And he said, quote, we knew that eventually we would eventually create a PC version, so early development was done in parallel with the console versions. In fact, some of the early preparations we made for PC, like 64-bit and DX11 support, paid off very handsomely when the PS4 and Xbox One architectures were announced. That early work made the process of transitioning to the new consoles a lot easier and allowed us to hit the ground running. The artists also prepared for PC by altering their source art at PC-ready resolutions, even though we had to use massively reduced versions for the PS3 and Xbox 360. Now, he continued, we get to see that same game scale to 4K at 60fps, which is just beyond anything we have experienced as developers. We have aimed to retain that ability to scale the performance for the PC game, so players all with different hardware platforms can benefit from that as well. Now, the full article is... Of course, linked in the description below this video. I've given you what I would call the best bits, as always. But if you want to give the into itself a read, I suggest you do so. It's rather long and rather lovely. To kind of prepare yourself for the release of GTA 5 on the PC, which has been very long awaited. It's definitely reassuring to know that they took a different approach with the PC version development. As GTA 4 on the PC, well, when it first came out, it wasn't so hot, to be honest. Um... I was a little bit concerned for GTA 5 on PC, but to be honest, if they've been developing it for that long and keeping PC in mind from the start, and obviously giving 4K support and all this other stuff, well, I think it's probably going to be the best PC version we've seen of GTA 5 in a long, sorry, of GTA in a long time. But of course, we don't know until we get our hands on it, which will hopefully be soon. Anyway, that is me done for this video, and I'll see you next time.